Hello! Today's episode of Lockdown Licks does contain some commercial advertising content, which some viewers may find upsetting. Anyway, today uh, I'm going to talk about the snare drum uh, and something that I once heard a famous drummer say, and it's quite a um, baffling statement. Uh, and in all the years since I heard this drummer say it, uh, I've never really quite fathomed out what he meant. Uh, and what this, the drummer in question said was, here we go, is the quote, that the snare drum was the steering wheel of the drum set. Hmm. Uh, truthfully, I have met a few drummers whose uh, bass drum pedal was very much the uh, accelerator pedal of the drum set. That's the uh, gas pedal to all of you tuning in uh, in the United States. We say hello. Uh, and equally, I've come across drummers whose left foot hi-hat was very much like the brake pedal. Uh, but in all my, oh, I don't know, 55 years of uh, messing around with the drums, um, I've never really seen this analogy uh, of the snare drum as the steering wheel of the drum set. Uh, I own uh, many, many snare drums, uh, outstanding among which is, of course, my British drum company, Bluebird Snare Drum, and never once has any of them ever uh, served the purpose of a steering wheel, with the possible exception of those times when I've bashed my head into the snare drum, when uh, everything has unexpectedly and abruptly come to a halt. Uh, so, but anyway, don't, don't, please don't write in and explain to me why the snare drum is the steering wheel of the drum set. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We all have our little pet analogies and way of it, ways of expressing things. And here's mine. How do I perceive the snare drum? To me, the snare drum is middle C on the piano keyboard. It's an octave either side of middle C. Major scale. All the white notes. Uh, and why am I talking about this today? I'm talking about this because uh, whereas most of these clips are inspired by questions from individuals, uh, I actually went to work yesterday. Well, I sat here and I did online drum lessons with all of my fabulous uh, college students who are currently taking their music degrees. And some of them, everybody's gone home. They're all in their different parts of the UK and abroad, um, all the international guys. And everybody's in a different situation. Some people have got a whole drum set in, uh, at their disposal, as I have here. Some people have only got a practice pad, and it's really hard to stay on top of your studies um, if all you've got is a practice pad. So if you're lucky, and you're like me, and you've got a set of drums at your disposal, don't think of the snare drum as being the steering wheel of the drum set. Don't sit down at the drums every day and spend the first hour here And so on and so on because we want to have as much facility wherever we are on the drum set whether it's on the snare drum the toms the cymbals one hand you know split you know two voice combinations so when you're doing you know if you're playing rudiments hip right out of thin air swiss army triplet Now, you can just ad-lib your orchestrations. That's perfectly fine. That's what most people do um, most of the time. Uh, but quite a few years ago now, and warning, warning, here comes the commercial bit, here comes the product plug. Quite a few years ago now, I devised a system of orchestration for drummers. And it's completely detailed in chapter... I should know. I wrote it. Uh, it is... Com fully detailed in chapter four, part four of my uh, recently published book. Um, you don't need that. You, as I say, you can just ad lib this stuff any way you want. But my little system is absolutely foolproof and it will break you of the habit of everything always going via the snare drum. The snare drum being like 
the go space on the Monopoly board. Everything goes through here. It's like the hub of the drum set. Maybe that's what our friend who talked about the steering wheel meant. The snare drum as the hub of the drum set. And to me, I find that limiting. I want to have as much facility down here or here, wherever, as I do on the snare drum. So if you're one of the lucky people who's got a full set of drums to practice on in our enforced downtime, then play the whole instrument. Don't just play that octave of white notes either side of middle C. You know, you can imagine one of the great jazz piano players, you know, just playing down here. You know, that's where a lot of the work gets done. But, you know, there's that F sharp up there as well. There's that, uh, there's that D flat down there. You, know, you play the whole instrument. Uh, to me, the drum set is like the 88 keys of a piano keyboard. Play the whole thing. Don't just limit yourself to the simplest stuff. So there's a little bit of uh, thought-provoking uh, percussive comment for you as we head into the weekend. And I hope, I really, really hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.